friends, my name is Ashley Poston and I'm the author of the Once Upon a Con series including Geekarella, Princess and the Fangirl, and on August 4th, Bookish and the Beast, which I'm so excited for. And today I'm going to be talking about my five books games, movies that inspired the series. So let's go. First off is obviously Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I am such a Trekkie. So I like the original. Don't get me wrong, Spock and Kirk are like my jam and Uhura is amazing. But I have a really soft spot for the next generation. I really, really love First Contact. It's just, it, it's just, it was the movie that inspired all of my love for sci-fi and artificial intelligence. And okay, let's let's be honest, Data. I just, I just really like, I just really like Data. I just, I just do. So I can't talk about my love for sci-fi without talking about, of course, Star Wars. I wasn't really the biggest fan of Star Wars growing up, don't get me wrong. I saw every prequel movie in theaters with my father because he was the really big Star Wars fanatic. Me, yeah, not so much. But I grew to love it in my teens and I really, really love Leia and like looks fine, I guess. Um, and then when the sequel trilogy came out, like my mom fell in love with it. I can't tell you how many times she has seen the second one. Just so many, so many. So I love the bzzz and the bzzz bzzz and the Luke, I am your father. It's just, it's just really good space opera -y, you know, drama. And I absolutely love that. Uh, Cause you know me, I love my space dramas. If you've read Heart of Iron or Soul of Stars, um, you know that I am a sucker for any sort of soapy opera-y sort of plot line. The fandom surrounding Star Wars is what I modeled the fandom of, of Starfield. To, to be like, uh, both good and bad. It's kind of kind of baked in there, kind of, you know. It's a, it's a Star Wars cake salad pie thing. I don't know what I'm saying, word salad. Mm. Oh, salad, I haven't had lunch yet. Mm. And of course, I can't talk about Starfield without talking about Mass Effect because Mass Effect is basically how I structured the Federation. I I, I loved Mass Effect. I will always love Mass Effect. Shepard, female Shepard, is one of my favorite sci-fi heroines of all time. Ugh, it's just in the second game, you just can't beat the second game. I mean, I beat the second game, but you can't, you know, you can't get better than this. That's what I mean. You can't get better than the second game. And when I was writing Geekarella and when I was making Starfield, I was replaying the trilogy. Uh, because I wanted Starfield sort of to, to feel a, like a mix between, you know, the political machination, the political machinations of Star Trek with a lot of the high octane pew 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 of, of Mass Effect. So that's, how, that's what I envisioned in my head. And I really hope that kind of got across. So Geekarella would not be Geekarella if I hadn't watched Ever After. It is one of my absolute favorite Cinderella retellings. Drew Barrymore is like the only Cinderella, aside from Brandy's, that I will like 100% back. It is one of my favorite movies. I love the twist where like Cinderella saves herself and it's not her that really need saving it's the prince. I just love that trope and I love the twist in it and so I wanted to implement that into Gigarella because I really don't like how how the prince has to come and save her and the prince is a foil for like a better life for Cinderella which I mean I get it but I wanted Cinderella to save herself and so I was like well I really like Ever After and they did it really well. Okay, okay, I'm channeling my Drew Barrymore. Let's do this. So I was, uh, I was, in, I'm in love with that movie. Just like that one scene with the with the wings. Oh man, just please, I, I love it. And last but not least, um, so I don't know who here is a Disney Channel original movie fan, but I love them. Like I've loved them since the 90s because I am I am that kind of 90s kid. Uh, so of course, Starstruck. I just, listen guys, all I'm going to say is that I love this movie so much, I bought it on DVD. That's, 
That's how much I loved this movie. I didn't just, I wasn't gonna wait for it to, you know, come on Disney Channel again and record it. No, no, no. I bought that DVD. I, I watched the extras. So I guess that's like, that's the last ingredient in the sugar spice and everything nice sort of, uh, sort of mixture of the Once Upon a Con series. Uh, oh, also, also, I will say a big part of Princess and the Fangirl and like, I guess also Bookish and the Beast, was that one San Diego Comic-Con where Tom Hiddleston came out in like full Loki garb and was like, kneel to your new master. And I'm just like, oh God, please. So uh, yeah, that also inspired a lot, a lot to, there are a lot of fan cams from, from San Diego and New York Comic-Con that inspired a lot of things that happened. So I can't really link to all of them. But, uh, but yeah, I just, I just really like fandom, guys. I, can you tell, you know? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed me rambling and talking a little bit about my inspirations into the Once Upon a Con series. Y'all stay nerdy, stay safe. I'll see y'all on the internet. Bye!